First and foremost, I would like to thank the channel Random and More for giving me this opportunity to like collaborate. And I can see they have a lot of great videos and uh, they knew that I have some content that can help you guys, your, your subscribers. And that's why they joined, they linked up with me and I think this is the first step in the right direction. By the way, I love your channel guys and uh, great job. So, the, you, you guys gave me some questions that I, you wanted some answers to. So I thought, why don't we just do it on a video format, okay? So the first question is introduction of you and your channel. Okay, that's a great question. Okay, so my name, my channel, my name is Dr. Aziz. My channel name goes by Dr. Zizi on YouTube. And I actually am a medical graduate. Um, I graduated from Russia. Uh, and I've been like two years since I graduated. And you know, when I was graduating at that moment, I did not have many people who were telling me that, okay, this is how you need to do UK MLE or this is how you do USMLE or this is how you do PLAM. And in fact, there was nobody who was sharing their own journey, their own experience as to what happened when they were doing the exams. So what I decided to do was, I was like, okay, let me be that guy. So since my college days, so since the day I, when I was about to graduate, I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the PLAB exams, which is the exams to go to the UK. And what I thought was that why not me document my entire journey and show it to the world so that students in the future can walk my path and like understand okay this is how this guy did it and that way it will be much easier for them to understand as they can see somebody so that's what my channel is about i have been documenting my journey from ielts from my club one and now club two and showing the world of how club exam is done so that way they also can learn from it so that's what my channel is basically about so question is, what is PLAB and why we do PLAB over USMLE? So as you understand, PLAB is an exam, just like USMLE. USMLE is an exam to work in the US, but PLAB is an exam to work in the UK. It consists of two parts, PLAB 1, which is a written exam, and PLAB 2, which is the clinical bypass of the OSCEs. And of course, before all of that, you have to do your IELTS. So that's basically a small breakdown of what PLAB exam is. Of course, the detail is all in my channel. Um, how many components of PLAB are there? I think I've already answered that PLAB has two components, PLAB 1 and PLAB 2. Um, will PLAB be converted to UK MLE and what difference would that make? Honestly, at this moment, no one really un completely understands what UK MLE is going to be exactly like. People say that it's going to be somewhat similar to the current plan and there's just going to be a little bit of a difference to make it much more easier to make, make it much more accurate uh, i think that is a question we should wait and find out but for now it's just plan and probably in 2022 i think they're gonna start uk MLA. so that's the plan what is the process and when should you start studying for it and uh, what to study if you could just mention some certain books or whatever okay so how to study for PLAB? A lot of, actually it's a good question because so many of you who watch this video are actually still in medical school. Some of them, you guys are in your third year, some of you guys are in your fourth year, right? And they ask me, okay, how can I start preparing now for the PLAB 2 exam or the PLAB exam? And that's a very, very tough question to answer because every exam, be it USMLE, be it PLAB, be it AMC, has their own pattern of doing the exams. So if you are in your second, third year, fourth year, I would just suggest follow your school curriculum. Try to be the best medical student you can. Learn from all sources. If there's anything that you don't understand, open books, open YouTube, learn and try to become an all-around good medical student because that will build your base knowledge. And once you have a good base knowledge, when you graduate, you can use that and then build everything up on it for the exam. So, if you're in medical school in your third second year you don't really need to but if you're close to graduating and you're planning okay now i have to do my club too or plum exams so what do you do now i would suggest there are a few materials that i really recommend you to start using so first thing is there are two books that you're really supposed to have if you're planning to do one is oxford handbook of clinical medicine and oxford handbook of uh clinical specialties let me even show you this so here are the two books. This is Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine and uh, this is Oxford Handbook of Clinical Specialities. So always make sure you get the latest edition of these books. These two books will be your Bible. This is the book you have to not read like, you don't have to read it page by page. 
but then you have to refer everything to this book. In fact, if you're in your second year, why don't you just buy this book? And then anytime you come across some diseases, something that you don't understand, just refer from this. So you already know what UK is teaching. That's number one. The second material I would really recommend would be 1700 papers. So these are like questions, past paper questions that you can answer. Those are the same kind of questions that repeat. That's for club one, of course. And other than that, there are some materials. I mean, remaining stuff is all, I mean, you can also check out my channel. I give a lot of detailed information about all of that. For Plug 2, of course, we recommend a course. Um, and the course that we recommend is by the Aspire Academy. If you guys want to know more about the Academy, please email us at drzz at gmail.com and then we will guide you to how to join the Academy. So that was that, I think. The next question would be, how much does it cost on average? Okay, that's a very, very good question. A lot of people tend to ask, like, how much does this entire exam cost? So this is what you have to remember. Uh, on average, right, if I'm just going to go through, because it might be a little bit more, a little bit less, because it depends on your living expenses and stuff. So for your PLAB 1 exams, wait, let me just find out the latest, because they usually changed. So for the PLAB, this, these are the latest, uh, the fees just for the exams. So PLAB 1 costs 235 pounds uh plab 2 will cost you 860 pounds so roughly around thousand pounds some thousand one hundred pounds over there then you have to also take in add, in add in some additional costs your ielts will cost you around approximately 200 to 300 dollars that is if you get through ielts for the first time um that those are just the fees um other than that you know you have to go to the uk to do your plab 2 exams so add uh, add your so you have to add your flight tickets visa fees accommodation over there food so overall i think the entire exam over here would come to a package of around i'd say around five thousand six thousand pounds in total this is taking your this, this is taking everything into consideration so yeah on average it'll be around five thousand pounds for both plab one plab two ielts and the whole package okay so prospects for img is is it easy for international medical graduates to get a surgery position because it's quite okay so it is quite difficult to answer that question the, the way it works in the uk is it's based on your luck it's based on your previous experiences it's based on your previous previous clinical attachments and so forth um so this is a question that can't be answered of course there are a lot of positions available but it's very difficult to say if it's hard or easy it just it depends on if you're at the right place at the right time if you applied for the right job then yes so that's all i can say i mean i don't want to give you false information and, and guide you wrong way and thinking yes it's easy of course there are certain people who will give preferences over you but then of course it's definitely not impossible so i think that those were all the questions well thank you so much guys for collaborating with me if you guys want to get to know more information about the entire club journey i have recorded it all on my youtube channel it is goes by the name dr zz so make sure you go there check it out and uh, drop me a comment saying random and more sent me and that'll be that'll be awesome um thank you so much for your time and i'll see you guys on my channel take it easy peace